Thank you, Kate. It's nice to be here with my Democratic family. I'm here tonight to tell you, first, I will not be running for school board again. It's time to give someone else a chance to serve. And I am running for county board. Let's think of, for a moment why we are all here tonight. We're here because Arlington is our home. And we want the tradition of effective leadership on the county board to continue. We share a vision of what we want our county to be, continue to be, a diverse, compassionate, and prosperous community. But we know Arlington is changing. We could lose important things in that change. At times like this, leadership matters. We all want to keep this a diverse and inclusive community that works well and is a good place to live and to do business. But everything is growing and changing so fast. Buildings sprout up and parking spaces disappear almost overnight. Every year, it takes longer to get around. Arlington is facing some big decisions. As we grow, affordable housing is disappearing. The police force has not grown in 10 years. And our school system is growing by a school a year, and we're not sure how we're going to pay for the buildings our students need. Libraries are cutting back their hours. We have limited resources and big challenges. Now is the time to be clear about Arlington's priorities. The question for us is, how do we manage change so that as Arlington grows, it stays the home we all love? I've been leading change for 15 years. Back in 1996, when my children were young, there were inequities in our school system. Our capital program was a mess. The Washington Post headline said $25 million missing from Arlington Public Schools capital program. I called for a fair distribution of resources, a focus on student achievement and closing the gap, for better management, and more responsiveness to citizens. I ran for school board. We have come a long way since. We have renovated and rebuilt almost every one of our schools largely on time, on budget. We've closed that achievement gap by about 50%. Our four school, high schools are in the top 2% nationwide. People like Arnie Duncan and companies like Boeing moved to Arlington for our schools. Over the past 15 years, I've worked with 11 different school board members and hired two chief executives. We faced some tough issues. Our school system is complex. Our budget this year is almost a half a billion dollars. We run a large transportation and food service system. Arlington Public Schools employs more employees than anyone in the county except the federal government. I have been chair five times. I am proud of the progress that we've made on the school board and proud of our culture of continuous improvement. We are always trying to get better. My colleagues and I have been through some thorny issues and some tough votes, but we have always been clear about our priority, student achievement. And that's why we've come so far. We have clear goals and priorities and we stick to them. We're transparent. We monitor how we are doing and we report to taxpayers even when the reports are not so good. And we keep looking ahead to work strategically. For example, we pressed forward with getting Wakefield High School designed and built. Because we were ready, we could take advantage of low construction costs and save the taxpayers about $30 million. Wakefield will be a wonderful asset for the entire community. I think this way of working is exactly what we need in our next county board member. And if you ask me what my priorities are, I would tell you. Our core services, public safety, education, transportation, infrastructure, and a safety net for our most vulnerable. On a personal note, my daughter Ruth and two of my grandchildren live in Quito, Ecuador. They visit every summer. The five-year-old asked Ruth the other day, when are we going home? You are home, Ruth said. No, I want to go to my other home. Michaela wanted to come back home to Arlington. This is a wonderful home. Our sense of community, of openness, of a place where the system works makes Arlington very special. We've got to keep it that way, working for everyone, and keep that sense of community as we grow and change. That's the goal. What I offer you to help get us there 
is my 15 years of experience leading change, working on some of the county's toughest issues. What I promise is to work just as I have for the past 15 years. I will always listen to you, I will always be looking ahead, and I will always do what is right for the entire county. I hope I will have your support, and thank you for your patience for staying tonight. Thank you.